In the chaos and upheaval of the sixth century war, he was a usurper. The throne of the goblin king was vulnerable, weak, his for the taking. Besieging the city gates, he cleaved the path to the royal chambers, where all that stood between him and his destiny was the simple thrust of a knife. But he was betrayed. The sorceress coveted the throne for herself, and by her magics he was banished, exiled. He awoke in a nightmarish netherworld, ruled by whiskered groundwalkers who parade their slaves through the village streets on chains of twill. Grotesque, soft-skinned goblinoids with flesh like bone meal gone foul. He tracked them back to their fortress and seized it for his own, imprisoning the yipping groundwalkers and their pitiful slaves within their very own walls. There, he discovered that these creatures possessed magics of their own. A tablet of divination, impossibly smooth to the touch, and glowing even brighter than the seer stones of the ancient goblin gods. He knew then that if he could harness this arcane power, this Twitch Lord's stream, he would raise an army of followers from lands near and far. He would build a new kingdom, his true destiny. And even the Goblin King himself will tremble and kneel before his throne.